special edition of, of I'm I'm just in I'm such like a very materialistic person. Okay, hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Reika. In today's video, I am gonna be showing you guys the top 10 things that I couldn't let go of. These things may have been with me for quite some time, maybe years, and I did some thinking, a lot of thinking, like why do I still keep these things? Like it's a different kind of mood when you first get the items, but let's see how it feels like when it's already with you for quite some time. So yeah, without further ado, let's get on to the video. So right, the first thing that I want to show you is my very favorite Ked Spare. I used to be so obsessed with Keds. I was never like a Vans person, but I was obsessed with Keds and the reason why is because I'm such a fan of Taylor Swift. <laughs> and so the, this is the pair I'm going to be showing you. I haven't worn this for quite some time and no, I never wore it anymore. I don't know why, I just kept it in, in like the storage room. But it's still in the box. Right, I don't even know if this is the box, but <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to see if it's still in a good condition. Right, so these, uh, this pair, this pair has been with me for like 2017, 18, 19. Oh my gosh, four years! <laughs> four years, and I don't even know if this still fits me, but I wore this to the 1989 concert. I'm gonna show a photo of it. And so, yeah, I just don't know. I feel like I'm very sentimental about the things that I used in a particular event. And so this is the 1989. It's like a special edition of, of like the kids. And I was like, I love Taylor Swift. I love 1989. It's like by far my favorite album. And so this shoes, I love this. And I, let's see, I'm gonna wear it. And, and think about like, does it still feel the same? Just kept it for the sake of actually just keeping the memories with me. These are the shoes. It doesn't look good on me, like my legs look much more fat. So right, moving on to the next item in my list. It's not really like item because I just count them as one collectively. Okay? They're just the same, like Taylor Swift perfume. So I'm gonna show you guys the scents. Show you guys the scents. How am I gonna show it? But the bottles basically. So the first one is this. It's Enchanted Wonderstruck. I am like... I still love this. I'm I'm just in awe by this smell. Like it sticks with me for a very long time. Like I just love it. The second thing that I got, like from from Taylor Swift's collection of perfumes, is this. I forgot the name. Right. So I even kept the boxes. It's the. Taylor by Taylor Swift! This scent is a very angelic scent for me. It's kind of really sweet, but sweet in a way like vanilla, but not really vanilla, but kind of like vanilla, but it's not really like my favorite among the Taylor Swift perfumes, but I still love it. So the last is The Incredible Things by Taylor Swift. I have brought this perfume with me everywhere I go when I travel because it's just really small compared to compared to the rest of the bottles because these are very heavy this one you could just put in your carry-on I love it like I'm such like a very materialistic person but anyways the next thing is this skirt like I haven't worn this a lot. What I like about this skirt is that it's plaid, it's red, it's cute. And I got this from American Apparel. This is like my very first purchase in American Apparel. I remember when I was in like fourth year, I love American Apparel. I was like obsessing over it and I, I couldn't buy it. I couldn't buy it because it was just it was just too much for me. But then my mom, she's very sweet. So when I when I when I went when I when I went when I got to London, so 
it was like the first time I got to London as well. She bought me the skirt when we went to American Apparel, but the next time that I went there it was already closed, so I would probably keep this for a long time. It's already kind of like good, but I still don't know. I just I just like it because it's like my first purchase in American Apparel and it still feels like the first time. Down to the fourth item, um, I think I have kept this bag for so long. This has been with me for 2018, probably two years. Two years. If you would see me, I still have another version of this guy and this is also from this is also from American Apparel. I bought this because I thought that it was the 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 huge version of this. I bought this. It wasn't really my intention to buy this, but I still like it though because the canvas is just nice. And but the other thing is my actually 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 is my actually it's what am I saying actually? It's actually my it's actually the favorite thing that I I hate myself. So what I meant was that there's another bag, which is this, that's similar to the one that I showed, and that's my go-to dirty bag. The fifth thing that I couldn't let go of as of this moment are these wristbands from the 1989 concert. Basically, this wristband, it lights up when, like... Taylor Swift plays another song or when there's another mood for her set list and in her concert and I just love I don't actually love it because it actually looks ridiculous but I just I just want to keep it for the sake of memory so for the the sixth item that I want to share that I couldn't let go of I know that this um, CDs aren't a thing anymore, but I just find it so cute that you have like the physical merch on your hand I know that Spotify is already available for us and on YouTube and everything But it's just different when you have it on your hand So I have this with me for like a year and it still feels fresh. I still love it I still have like that. I still love it kind of feeling <laughs> and Right, so when you I just see it's just really like plain and basic, no prints on the CD or anything like that. But what I love about this, that's why I couldn't let go of it, is that this, um, this, I don't know what you call this, but it has like very cute photos inside. And I even, even, look at this. I didn't even remember that I kept this inside. So these are the confettis from Lainey's show when I watched Lainey back in... In... Last year? Was that last year? Or this year? When did I watch Lainey? Like, I think it was on March 2020... 2019, yeah. On March 2019. When, when the show's over, they just showered all the confettis and I just kept it. I'm just like a memory hoarder like that. And I also kept like the roses from that time. I brought roses on his show and look at, not roses, but petals. Yeah. All right, for the seventh item that I cannot let go of is my Instax. Although I don't use it anymore, I still like it because compared to film cameras that, I mean, this is also a film camera, but like compared to like film cameras, you know what I mean? Like the Canon, the Kodak and everything like that. This just instantly prints the photos. You don't have to go to a place where you can have it develop. And it's just nice that you can instantly have the photo. That's why it's in stacks. <laughs> For the eighth item, maybe like Polaroid photos. I only have few, but I would never, Why? who would ever throw away Polaroid photos, right? So I wouldn't, so I would keep this. This would be the eighth thing. So quick add. I would like to include the specific Polaroid photo that I love, which is this one. So for the ninth thing that I couldn't let go of is my iPod, iPod Nano, my gosh. So the thing about this is that it's already broken because it's switched for the power is already broken, but when you plug it into a power source, it's still working. So let's see how the, the how, when did I get this? Maybe when I was 14, 15, 16. Let's see the 14 year old playlist of Reika. 
So, let's see. Oh my gosh, I used to listen to Kesha. I used to listen to, what's this? I have so much Big Time Rush in here. Oh my gosh. I have like a lot of songs here that are very old and very like very not me in the present except maybe for Taylor Swift songs but overall I still have like a personal attachment to this that way I could look back and realize that wow I have different music tastes in the in the waves of time waves of time but yeah the very last thing that i want to share to you and which i am so excited to share about um the last thing that i couldn't let go of are my bible my journal my notebooks my planners and everything those things just keep me in track not just with how I plan my day but also in the truth of God because most of the time I get discouraged, most of the time I'm anxious, most of the time I just forget who I am but then when I look at my Devo notebooks these are the things that I couldn't really let go of. When I just look at this I remember the truth, I remember that God loves me and that I remember that in every discouragement and every anxiety and troubles He is there and I just love it. It's like it's always just timely. These notebooks are very time timeless. And so when I experience troubles, I check it out and I just remember the truth. I remember who I am by Jesus. And it makes me realize that I am anchored or my identity is anchored in Him and Him alone. And I just couldn't imagine letting go of these because it has been with me for quite some time and it has always been helpful every single day. So that's it for this video guys. I hope to see you guys next time and I love you so much. Follow me on Instagram if you have any suggestions and you can also subscribe to this channel for more updates. That's so weird saying that, but I love you and see you guys next time. Bye!